Okay, uh, I thought you might be interested to see the uh, inner workings of the oil pump. This is for an LS1, and this is the GM pump, uh, though they all work essentially the same. Uh, so obviously it's driven off the front of the crankshaft. Your oil uh, pickup tube bolts here, so this is the inlet side, so oil is coming in from here. Inside of here fits a gear. As you can kind of see this. Um, so obviously this is driven off. This is splined and it's driven off the front of the crankshaft. So as this spins, you see how it fits into the outer gear. So it's compressing the oil uh, as it goes around. And then this is a very precise fit let's see if I can get this back out so you can see this there we go all right then it gets compressed and then this side let me turn it so you can see it is the outlet side so that's this uh, opening here and this goes uh, to the engine block so we will feed the motor uh, there is a spring regulated uh, pressure relief valve. I don't know if I can get this where you can see it or not. So in here, there's a plunger. If I push it up, I don't know if you can see that or not. But um, so that spring pushes up on the plunger. So when it's fully pushed up. It seals it off and all the oil uh, goes into the engine block. If that pressure gets too high, then it begins to uh, compress the spring. And if it compresses the spring enough, it hits the plunger goes down and it goes into this opening. And then it recirculates the oil uh, back into the inlet side uh, of the oil pump. And so it's just self-feeding until that pressure comes down enough. Then it begins pushing it back to the, uh, to the engine block. So pretty simple, not a lot of moving parts in this, uh, but a pretty clever design at the same time. So anyway, just thought you might like to see how the uh, inner workings of the LS oil pump, uh, how they look.